Let's begin our detailed examination of the Irish Terrier with the head. The head is long, but in proportion to the body. The skull is flat and free from wrinkle, with the stop hardly noticeable except in profile. The muzzle is strong, with muscular jaws, and is approximately equal in length to the skull. From the front, you can see the flatness of the skull, which is narrow between the ears and which narrows slightly toward the eyes. The foreface must not fall away between or under the eyes. The modeling should be delicate. See how the cheeks are clean and flat. This head appears too heavy and muscular, with prominent cheeks. This muzzle is too chiseled out under the eyes. This is objectionable. This dog's head does not have the desired flat, parallel lines. There is a rounding over the brow, and even though there is heaviness on the head, he lacks strength of muzzle. There is little underjaw. And here, the prominent bumps over the eyes, coupled with the appearance of a Roman nose, distort the clean lines of the head. This should be faulted. What about this head? The muzzle to skull proportions are incorrect. The muzzle appears shorter than the skull. Remember, muzzle and skull should be of approximately equal length. This skull appears rounded with too much stop. Remember, the skull should be flat, with only a very slight stop. This head is correctly proportioned, with muzzle and skull of approximately equal length. The jaws are strong and muscular, and of good punishing length and strength. See how there is no exaggeration of any one part of the head, seen from the side or from the front. The nose is black, like this. Lips are close and well-fitting, and almost black in color. Teeth should be large, strong, and sound. The standard does not distinguish between a level or scissors bite, and a level bite is acceptable. A scissors bite is the more punishing bite, and breeders prefer it. Undershot or overshot bites are undesirable. The eyes of the daredevil Irish Terrier convey his spirit. Eyes are dark brown in color and small rather than prominent. They should be full of fire and intelligence, giving an intense expression, looking under a strong brow down the barrel of the muzzle to the nose. These large round eyes are a serious fault as they detract from the keen, intense expression that is so critical to this breed. These eyes are correctly shaped and placed and are dark brown in color. It's often been said that the Irish Terrier's eyes should have the look of fire as he watches other dogs and a look of mischief while watching people. Ears are small and V-shaped like these and of moderate thickness. They're set well on the head and drop forward closely toward the outside corner of the eye. This so-called dead ear, which gives the dog a hound-like appearance, is to be severely penalized. These ears are set too low on the side of the head. And these ears appear too large for the head, which is not correct. The set of these ears is not bad, but the ears do not break sufficiently above the skull. Rose ears are a serious fault, as are prick ears. These ears are correctly shaped and placed and in proportion to the head. See how the top of the folded ear is well above the skull, with the tip of the ear pointing to the outside corner of the eye. 